Hey guys, this is a quick review of the unisex LED wristwatch that I purchased very cheaply off eBay. So this watch here is a black watch with a black band, a screwed on panel at the back concealing the battery and circuitry, and a button on the front. It also has the clasp on the back, which is secured by magnets and these plastic clips, and it just holds it in place like so. To adjust the watch strap, to make it smaller, it's a bit of a permanent solution. You get a pair of scissors and you cut off sections of it until it fits perfectly. For me, I cut off the, this amount from each side, just taking off uh, half an amount at a time just to make sure I wasn't overdoing it, because once you cut it off, there's no going back, then you re-slide this on. So this just slides on and off, easily like that. Now, I can imagine when wearing this watch that this will um, eventually just fall off, so I recommend putting a dot of super glue underneath that to hold it in place. On the watch face here, the time is displayed when you push this button. And there you have it, so it's 12.09 and it has a LED flasher indicator. And it's quite fancy, it comes on and off, has a little pattern. And if you push the button again, it shows the month and day, and as well as the seconds. Right, to make any adjustments on the watch, hold down the one button on the front when the watch is on, and then it'll blink. And when you press the button, you can then change the time. So, the real time here is 9.43, so 9 p.m. This is year, so he knows what year it is. A month and day. All right, so that'll do. Hold it in again, and now I've adjusted the time. If you press the button once, it will then display the date and month. And then, as well as the seconds. So after you've made your adjustments and you've cut off bits of the watch strap if you needed to to make it your size, to put the watch on it just sits over your wrist like this and it can be a bit tricky so I'll place it down like this and clip these bits together and push them in. That'll lock the little plastic lugs in and the magnet. And it's probably not the best locking mechanism but it works and um, yeah it looks pretty stylish. So you can walk around and go, yeah, what time is it? Well, I'll tell you. And the time is then displayed. Now, this watch doesn't have any shake function or anything like that, or it doesn't detect wrist movement and turn on. It's just simple, basic, push the button to know what time it is. All right, so let's put this watch through some basic tests. All right, so we're gonna do the basic drop test from a height of one meter to see how the watch fares and if the time will still be correctly displayed or if it resets. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's so good. Oh, <laughs> didn't take much. Just dropped it on the side and it's reset. Now the next test is to just see if it will just fall off my wrist by just flicking it. Seems to be holding up pretty good. That's all right. All right, let's use a bit more force. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? It's not coming off. All right, so if I was to simulate putting a jacket on or something. Oh, yeah, that would come off pretty easy then. Um, point to note is this is supposed to be like magnets, and I think they are, but they're very weak magnets. It's like it'll hold it together, but if you don't clip it down, it's just gonna slip out. And also, as you can see here, didn't take much, but if you have a bit of sideways force, that'll come undone like that. So that's what I was saying before I suggest gluing them in. So overall, it isn't too much of a bad watch, but I don't know how waterproof it is. So let's do a quick splash test. So the watch must have reset itself when I was doing the wrist test because it's gone back to 12.01. All right, so the next test is the sink test just to get some water on it. Not much of a water flow there. Watch still works. Yeah, still works fine. Still working, that's pretty good. I was expecting that to short out straight away. I'd say that's definitely past the just splashing it with water test. All right, so let's submerge it in a glass of water. All right, so I've got a glass of cold tap water. See, it's just normal everyday water. The watch still works fine. And now it's time to submerge it. So 
let's just make sure it's on. Oh, seems to have some sort of fault come up. So I'd say that's not waterproof, but splash resistant. All right, so let's pull this apart and see how much water is in here. All right, so there's a little bit of water in here. You can notice it down at this end. Um, yep, it's just dripping out. So that's what the internals look like. All right, so this is the watch itself. This is a circuitry, it's got two watch batteries. All right, so it didn't take much and you can see the circuitry is pretty damp in there as well as the batteries had a bit of water on them. And if you wanted to know what size batteries this watch takes, it is LR1130, and there's two of those batteries. It's quite an interesting board here. It seems pretty efficient. You've got the two sides where the batteries go, your little processor and a capacitor in there. And on this side, this is all your LEDs, and it's, it's very slim. Quite surprising, actually. For the cost of this, they've, they've done pretty good. And because they've used such small LEDs, they've used this part of the plastic and they've cut it out so that way it looks like um, old school LEDs from the 80s. Uh, it's still um, glitching out but what do you expect it's got pretty wet. So I've successfully killed the watch but you know it didn't take much but I didn't really expect much. Now this watch cost less than two dollars like it was about a dollar seventy including delivery so for what it's worth yes it's it's bloody good value but would I use this watch as an everyday watch? No, because of the fact that the, the um, strap would easily come off unless I glued it. And if I bump into something pretty hard, the watch will probably just reset back to 12 o'clock. And lastly, it needs to be a bit more water resistant than this. Um, yeah, splash proof, we proved that. That's good if you're in rain, but if you're in the shower or something and you leave it on, it probably would just get water in it and that would be the end of the watch. Would I recommend this watch? Yeah, it's good for a novelty, good for a laugh, get it for someone as a funny gift, a stocking filler or something at Christmas, who knows? But yeah, that's basically it. It's a pretty cheap watch. It's fun while, it, while you have it. It's good novelty and that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and comment. See ya.